Hello everyone and welcome to Bevan's Bricks. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make an eight brick wide Lego road mills plate. So if this is something that interests you, stick around, cause it's coming up. Now this is gonna be a really quick guide on how to do the Mills road plate system. Uh, the one thing I do wanna cover, number one, is I did already make a video on the Mills plate road system. And with that particular video, let me zoom out a little bit so we can see this a little better first. Uh, with that particular video, what it is is I made a seven brick wide lane and in this video, I am going with an eight brick wide lane. And there is a few subtle changes to that particular technique, and that's why I wanted to cover it in this video. The other thing that I wanted to first touch on before I go too much further is uh, in the last video that I made, there was a lot of confusion because most people thought that you had to build the, the mills plates on, an, on a road plate, and that is not the case. What it is, is I have a ton of uh, road plates and I thought, you know what, as opposed to just setting them aside and not using them, why not go ahead and use all my road plates as my base? But just to show you that they can be done on any base plate, I am going to be starting the Mills road plate on this base plate right here. So anyway, the first thing we're gonna start off with is the spacing. It's just like the last one with the four two by twos in the corners. And then when you take four of the technique technique bricks and you put them on these corners but this is where it changes up uh, and this is why i say it changes up because being that it is now eight bricks wide we need more width so instead of using the one by fours on the other the other two corners because we're going to have a road coming straight through here you have to use the one hole technique bricks so now we put those on these corners and then you basically spread the rest of the bricks out I'll show you now now in an attempt to speed things along again you can still see it's the one pin and then it's the four pin uh, the one thing I did forget to mention though is next to the four pin you want to put a two by three brick as you can see on either side now I'm trying to speed this video along so I'm trying to give you a very up close shot of how it would look and there's a reason that I've done it a little goofy on this side using the one by twos as you can see here to make that little spot there and again I want to hold it up so you are able to count the studs you can even pause it here would be a good place to pause it but then the other side you just put the two by twos on it but anyway once you get it all plated like that you can you, if you've already got the road plate itself set up anyway you can just slide it in but now i'm going to quickly kind of discuss the road plate now the first thing for the road plate is i make a whole bunch of these just to show you what i mean here is a whole stack of them and these are as you can see one two three four five six seven eight and then it's 16 one by twos across mind you you do not have to use two by two one by two bricks you can use one by four you can use one by 12 so on and so forth but again <clears throat> it is only eight bricks tall and then whatever it takes to make 32 studs for the width but anyway after you take that what we do or what i do anyway you'll notice because i like to stagger my bricks and i like to make sure that it stays nice and strong this side which is where the three stud brick is is where I like to tile. And then on the opposite side, just to show you, I do it, so these are two different road plates. So just so you can see, I put the threes right together, and I'm gonna show you why right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start plating this. So starting again with where the one by three is, I'll start my one row of yellow, in my case, these are city streets, so I want it to have a solid yellow center. So I start with one row that way, and then I start my next row of gray with a one by two, and then a one by four. And then after I do that, I come back with my next row. And then we're gonna put them two to get the two together after we get it plated all the way across. So anyway, now that this is all plated, we 
squish them together <laughs> like I did here. And now we're going to put a row of white on this side and a row of white on this side. Uh, I typically like to start with a 1x4 or a 1x8 or something like that and then tile it all the way along. Now we have the row of white on both sides and I went ahead and put the row of gray on this side and it's because I wanted to show you something unique which is also what I wanted to show you again about the base plate and that is why these little marks here I'm going to show you line up with those bricks and that's because those four spots that you see there with the brick still sticking through is where you're going to be using the one by two Technic brick. So every spot that you have one of these, you are going to place a Technic brick on there so that way it can slide in to that groove. Now, before I get too much carried away, the other thing that you have to do is on this side, and I do it just like I did the center line because I started with a four there. So because I want everything to overlap on the bottom, you just use plates. So I start with a one by two, and then I plate the whole thing with one by fours until I get all the way to the other side and put my last one by two. Now, once you have all that together, you should have a road plate that looks like this with all your Technic bricks already on that side. And again, what I always do is I just lay it in here so I can see where it's supposed to go. And then I put the other modified bricks on this side because this side requires the one by two modified bricks with studs on the side, just to show you what I'm talking about. It's this piece here. But again, you just lay it down in there. You find a hole that it'll fit in, which would be this one right here and you push it on. Now once you get those all aligned, you just set it in place and you have to wiggle it a little bit because it is a tight fit. But once you get it all nice and lined up, <laughs> it's gonna fight me. You get it to push down in there and then you just push it down on to the plate. And now you have the road plate set up. The only thing left to do is we have to plate this out. Now, when it comes to plating out this part of it, I use my two, uh, <laughs> I use my four by fours and I plate it with the closest piece to the road first. And then after I do the four by fours all the way next to the road, I come back with my one by fours and start putting them along this edge. And just to show you, if you're using one by fours, they will line up all the way down. And now that is all plated, we tile it in. Now there's a reason I wanted to stop and show you this corner, because again, I wanna remind you, we have our one by fours on this back edge, and I am all about overlapping for strength. And that's why I put my one by tiles on the very front surface, and then I put the two by twos on the back. That way everything is nice and interlocked and you have a really nice Mills Road. And now anyway, that is all for today's video. But stay tuned because I will be doing the Mills Plate intersections very soon. So if this is something that interests you, stick around and you will see a video in a few days. Anyway, as always, Thank you for coming to Bevan's Bricks. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and the bell down in the corner so you get notified of all the great content that I post on my channel. And hopefully we will see you next time on Bevan's Bricks.